Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. In this video, we'll be taking a look at Adam's tire armor. Let's do it. So before we get crazy and get this video started, let me show you guys something. Bison Auto Detailing. Thank you so much, Riley O and Scotty O. They are the people that made this video possible because they tried this tire armor and they sent me the rest that they did not use. And look how much they didn't use a whole lot of. It was about right there. Uh, thank you so much, Riley O and Scotty O. Let me tell you, Bison Auto Detailing, Riley O is a 15, he might be a 16 year old now, and has taken upon himself to detail cars to make money. That's amazing that he has that initiative to do that because today's kids don't have that. Riley O, keep up the fantastic work. You are gonna be successful in your life. I can already tell just by what you're doing at the age you are right now. That is absolutely amazing. But tire armor is a semi-permanent tire coating. Now, I'm guessing probably get two to three months out of an application. The downside is we're gonna put on the journey and the journey does not get driven all that often. So if I can't give you real updates on it because it's not a daily driven car. It's usually in the garage most of the time, to be honest with you. But we're gonna be using it on the journey. I just uh, coated the wheels with Adam spray coating. Now that that's done, I'm getting ready to apply the tire armor and put it back on. And I think this thing's gonna look absolutely fantastic because the journey has all Adams on it. Um, it has Adams uh, ceramic coating on it. And then on top of that, it has Adams ceramic paste wax on it. And then it has ceramic boost on top of that. And now it's got the ceramic or the spray coating on the wheels. And now it's gonna have the tire armor on the tires. And I can tell you right now, the car looks absolutely fantastic without the wheels even on it. The paint, I love these ceramic coatings, you guys. Um, but tire armor says thoroughly clean tires with Adams tire and rubber cleaner and tire scrub brush. Now I did do that. Um, I did not use Adams tire and rubber cleaner, but I did do that and I didn't make a video on it. And after I got done cleaning the journey, I was like, ah, dang it, I wish I'd have made a video on that. I didn't make a video at all on the journey washing it. Um, but I did do that. The tires are really clean. The cleanest they've probably ever been since they were brand new. And this thing is ready to go right on. It says thoroughly dry and remove water, blah, blah. I've already done that. Dispense four to five sprays of Adams Tire Armor into a tread block and covering the majority of the surface area. Spray Adams Tire Armor into an Adams VRT block applicator, which Riley O and Scotty O sent me that as well. Um, evenly apply across the face, tread block, and lettering to ensure proper leveling of application. Allow five to seven minutes to dry to the touch. For an increased gloss, wait 10 to 15 minutes and apply an additional coat. Now, I don't know, and then it says reapply as needed. I don't know if I will go with a second coat because I don't like really shiny tires. That's just not the way that I am. Um, but you might. So you, if you watch the video and you think it should be glossier, then you can apply a second coat. I'm really interested in what this product does and how long it lasts and how it does through car washes and stuff like that. And once once I got this bottle, um, Scotty O, Riley's father, sent me a message and said, if, this, if the trigger is clogged up, you know, let me know, I'll get you one. I said, don't worry about it, I can find one. Sure enough, I did try it just a minute ago. The trigger was clogged, I could not use it. It had crystallized. So, luckily for me, I had a company send me a couple of products that were very good and I never used one of them, so I just, Put it in this bottle. Now I got a brand new trigger on this one right here. So we're gonna get outside. I got the wheel on a table so it's easy to see. It's not on the car. Um, it's on a table, it's easy to see. We're gonna apply this and we're gonna see what this stuff does. Okay, so I did apply a tape line so we can do a 50-50. Plus I wanna make my thumbnail. So we're gonna use that as my thumbnail. Um, I wanna show you, tires just are as clean as a whistle. Now when I did the ceramic coating, I did get a little bit on the rubber and I tried rubbing it off. Hopefully it stays, you know, it got off of there but the rubber just, I mean, it just looks like brand new tires right now. Now, normally, obviously you'd be doing it on the car, but since I had to do the ceramic coating on the wheels, which looked fantastic, I figured, well, we'll go ahead and do it while it's off. So, I got a glove on, because this is gonna be the hand that I use. I'm going to spray it on this side right here. Um, I really hope I don't get on the ceramic coated wheels. I guess it probably won't matter, but I do have a towel in here just in case I do. I'm gonna shake it up. I 
spray some in here. I feel like I got too much on it. I have no idea though. I have a hard time leveling it out. First time using it. I probably have enough to do the whole tire, but I want to do a 50-50 here. I hate these grooves on these tires. These in good years have those grooves. All right, we're gonna wait about 10 minutes and then we'll come back once it's dry and we'll pull the tape off. All right, it's been almost 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and remove the tape. You can see the tape line. Now I am noticing as it's drying, Hope the camera picks it up and get a little bit of streaking in this area. Now that could be because I used too much product, I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll figure that out as I go around. But I think for me, one coat is gonna be good. This is the side that's not coated. Here's the side that has the coating. And then obviously there's your 50-50. So, there you go. So I just got done doing this tire and I, did, I forgot to do that earlier in the video to show you guys. The question is, does it dry the touch within the five to seven minutes, which I waited about 10, so it's been about 15. Absolutely, it's completely dry. A little bit streaky. I don't know if the camera picked that up, but it's just a little streaky. And I mean, it still looks really good. It's just a little streaky. Okay, I'm gonna continue on. So I did this tire a little bit different. I sprayed it directly into the sponge instead of around the tire. Um, and I seem to be getting better results like that. I'm not, it still has a little bit of streaking. Not, not, like, not like that one over there does though. It looks a lot better, a lot cleaner looking through here. That's where all the streaking I noticed before was. I mean, it looks a lot better as you can tell. So the way to do it is spray it directly into that applicator and right now I'm really digging the looks of this right now. It looks looking really good. All right, so it is the next day. So it's been on for a little less than 24 hours. And after it has basically completely cured, a lot of the streaking is gone. There is still some, and there's actually a spot that I missed right there. But I really like the looks. Honestly, I could probably put another coat on here. Um, just because I'd like it to be just a little bit more glossy than the first time, but it still looks good. I mean, I'm happy, I'm happy with it. This is the side that's in the sun, obviously, so you guys can see. This tire looks really good. Completely dry to the touch. Obviously, the side with no sun. A little bit of streaking right there. Hopefully the camera picks that up. It's really not that big of a deal though. You don't even notice it until you get close to the tire. I still say this is a really good product, especially for a semi-permanent coating. Tires just look new right now. So if you like your tire to look just new, then this is perfect for you. I want just a little bit more gloss, I think. The downside is <clears throat> I tried to use the tire armor spray again and it's already clogged up after just yes, using it yesterday. So I'm gonna start using it just, I'll kind of just put it on my towel, or not towel, but an applicator, whatever I'm using to put it on. And I'll just kind of dab it like you would a ceramic coating basically and go from there. So I don't have to worry about that sprayer anymore. So there you go. So I already made the ending to this video and to be honest with you, I really didn't care for it when I watched it back. I haven't begun editing yet, but I usually watch my videos um, once I upload them to my computer, say, okay, I like that or hey, I need to redo that. And so I was planning on making this ending again anyways. And then I got a message from Riley O. And by the way, he is Auto Detail Kid on Instagram. Um, 
And he said, hey, I'm gonna send you a birthday present because my birthday was August 26th. He said, just check your PO box in a few days. I was like, oh, that's awesome, you know, cool. So I checked the PO box and this is what he sent me. The abs polishes, be a good person, limited run car shampoo. Um, it smells extremely good, by the way. I haven't used it yet, as you can see, because I just got it. But I wanna say thank you, Riley O, for sending me this. Thank you, Riley O, for sending me the tire armor that we use in this video, and Scotty O, his dad. I really appreciate you guys so much. I mean, from the bottom of my heart, this is just a big thank you. Thank you so much. It makes me, I don't know, I'm a good person anyways, but it just makes me feel so good when you guys send me stuff. And I'm telling you guys, Riley O has a huge future ahead of him. He's 16 years old, owns his own business and detailing business. He's just got a future. I see these kids now. All they do is play on their electronics. They don't want to go out and actually do something to make some money. Like I, I used to go out and shovel snow, anything I could do, cut grass to make money. Um, and he's out there detailing people's cars and making money. So you have a big future ahead of you, Riley O. And uh, I just can't wait to see what it ends up being. I hope I get out to meet you guys one of these days out in Denver, Colorado. So back to the video at hand. The tire armor, I'm gonna give one thumbs up. And the reason one thumbs up because of the streaking. Other than that, it would be a two thumbs up product because it's easy to apply. It does dry to the touch within like five minutes. Um, it's got a really good color to it, even with just one coat. I could actually go, you guys know me, I like satin. I could go for a second coat, bring out the gloss just a little bit more, but I'm the more and more I'm looking at this two weeks later, I kind of like the way it is after it's, it's cured and everything. It just, the tires look brand new. I really like that. And as you noticed, and hopefully the video showed that, is after it sat overnight, it did level out, but it didn't completely level out. I still had spots where you could see, look like tire armor hadn't gotten. So the streaking is the only issue that I have with this product. Oh, and the sprayer does get clogged. Um, and I even tried running water through it as soon as I got done using it and that didn't work. Um, so Adams is supposed to be sending me some new sprayers that aren't supposed to clog. Hopefully that takes care of that. But um, I do recommend the product. Just know that you might have an issue with streaking. You may have to put a second coat on to get rid of it. Um, the, I think it's like 30 bucks for the bottle, but I used hardly any to do all four tires on the journey. So this bottle will last you a very long time as long as the, you know, the sprayer doesn't clog up on you. But uh, other than that though, you guys, I like the product. I appreciate you, Riley O and Scottio, once again for sending me the product. If you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, join the Fab family. Hit that share button. This video might be helpful for somebody else and we'll see you guys in the next video.